at the end of that process, we had a Labour Court hearing, a Labour Court recommendation. All those issues were laid out in front of the Labour Court and they came back with the recommendation. It was incumbent on the management of the company, given the financial state of the company and the losses that we were facing, and the fact that the Labour Court came out and said that the very viability of the company was at risk, to implement that Labour Court recommendation as it stood, and that's what we intended to do. We've now reached the stage, and thank you, thankfully for the facilitations of the Labour Relations Commission, where we now have that same level of cost savings that was in the Labour Court recommendation that will protect the future of the company, that will protect the 2,500 jobs, and will mean that we can continue to operate our services. And for the sake of our customers, the most important point as far as we're concerned is that this will mean there will be no further disruption to our services. Just on the, obviously for management, that would be a core pay hit then, wouldn't it? Uh, and, and presumably down the line, the lower paid workers, you're not touching core pay here, you're still looking at things like the overtime, the allowances, that sort of stuff. Uh, across all grades of staff, overtime allowances are being looked at, shift allowances, premium payments are also being looked at, um, core wages are also being looked at under this plan on a pro rata basis. What, what does that mean? I mean, so, so there will be pay cuts for your ordinary worker at a core level? Yes, there'll be reductions in, in reductions in pay under this agreement. On will a the pro, unions on, a pro rata, on will, a pro rata basis? Will the unions find it hard to sell that? Do you think? I know that's a question for the unions. Well, that's a question for the unions. I can answer your own question yeah. there.